All right, guys, due to popular demand, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to edit a website. So let's go ahead and say you haven't made a copy yet. So you can click on mine and you can manage site. Scroll down, copy this site, and let's call this a uh, tutorial senior project. Obviously tutorial would just be your name, but since uh, we don't really need anything from the site other than to use it as a tutorial, let's just call it tutorial senior project. Now uh, this will take a couple of minutes to get it done. And here we go. So again, hopefully this would say your name. And it says, hello, my name is James A. Felt. Well, uh, if you are anyone but me, that will not be true. So let's go over how to actually edit this. First thing you're going to do is click Edit Page, or just click the letter E. It means the same thing. Now, you would expect to see a bunch of text here, but instead it says Text Gadget, because I found that this was much easier to use than just typing stuff in. So we're going to click on it. We're going to hit the little Properties button, and we're going to see a bunch of script and, of course, my uh, picture of me and my wife. Uh, clearly, your name is not James A. Felt, so let's just change that name to Donald. Uh, so, hello, my name is Donald Doe. I am a, well, if you are not a teacher, you're probably going to write student at Natoma's Pacific Pathways Prep Charter High School, where I teach. Well, you're probably not teaching. So, let's say where I learn or where I am a senior in addition to learning general education I am also blah -de blah -de blah so this is where you'll just fill in all the information you want now you probably don't want a picture of me and my wife and yours and if you do that's a little bit weird so let's go ahead and just click remove yep or we could just backspace it but let's say you do want to insert a picture. Well, that's where this little insert button is going to come in handy. Click on an image, and you can look up an image on a web address. Uh, you can upload your own images. Uh, for me, I only really uploaded a single image of my wife and I, so that would be the one that I will put on there. Uh, if you wanted to do a different one, just click, up, click Upload. Go through all of your files and figure out which one you'd like to upload in there. Uh, if it's on a web address URL, all you have to do is find that URL and plug it in here as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and re-add this one. Now they're usually going to start off really, really big, so they're going to go with the original size. I say small is usually just fine. Uh, if you want to go medium, just click on the image, click M for medium. If you would like it to be even larger, again, click on the image, click large. But again, that would cause it to look really serious, uh, silly for me. So I decided on small, and small worked pretty well. Once you're done with all of your changes, just hit save. Uh, page listing. Uh, for my page listing, I'll actually show you what it looks like. Um, it just shows all the different subpages here, which is the exact same thing you'll see right here. Uh, what I did for my subpages, if you want to take a look at how to edit that, Just click on the link. Uh, it says subpage list, and all you really have to do is just click home subpages, current page home, and then just leave everything as is. Now, if you want it to all be one color, you can change right here, or you could do the uh, two color, two tone color, like I did. Uh, but honestly, as long as you keep this the same, it'll be the same. All right, uh, let's go over everything inside of here. Personal mission statement, I kept mine as an image, but you can just put the text box in there if you like. Uh, your mission statement, this was drafting my personal mission statement. So this is a link that you need to have on there. Uh, you'll see that this one right here, I actually just used, looks like I used Harley's, um, but you can use any of them for your own to put in here. Um, so there it is, take a look, there it is, there it is. 
Um, put whichever one you have. Uh, if you don't have yours, just make one real fast because you should have one. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and click out of that. And that's it for mission statement. Evidence of the issue. So um, this right here is where we're gonna put all the evidence that you looked up on why your issue is an actual issue. Um, I put a couple of facts and then I put a couple of links. Some of these links actually lead to silly little things. Uh, some of them just lead to my homepage and Atomis Unified. So uh, links are great. Adam, if you can. Uh, this is the senior project proposal I turned in. So this is where we're going to put your project proposal as well. This one uh, looks like Hassan just decided to go ahead and edit it. So there you go. Uh, this is why I don't typically share things with other people. So again, um, if you take a look at Hassan's, this is his senior project proposal. Um, and you can use the information he has here and just fix it to your own. All right, action. And my action, blah, 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 blah. So I put a bunch of links here. Uh, you don't need this many links, but if you have them, that's great. Uh, there's also additional links, like maybe if you made a pamphlet, if you have sign-up signatures, if you have an activity log, revisions, uh, you can do all of those as well. Again, just to show you kind of how to edit each of these. All of this was just the text gadget icon. So if you want to fix the information it gives out, you just fix that information. If you ever want to link anything, this button right here is how you create a link. If you want it to be on a word, just click on that or highlight that word, click the link. And then you can put a web address there. The text that it will display was what you're going to write. If you want it to say the word link, you would just write link. And then whatever the URL is, you just put it right there. Okay, as far as the text gadget other action evidence, it looked very similar, but what I did was I just made links for the word pamphlets, sign up signatures, activity log revisions, and none of these links I think are actually connected to anything real. Uh, they just go back to my website, so um, nothing to really see there. Uh, make sure that if you don't use these, you get rid of them, otherwise people are gonna have links to my website and that's just gonna look silly, so you don't want that. Okay. Um, images of action. Uh, this is where you just put all of your pictures. Again, a lot of these for me were just kind of weird little ones. Uh, I decided to organize them based on the date. So images from November, December, January. So you can organize these however you want. You can just have all your images at once if you want. I just wanted mine to be a little organized. Your presentation. All I did was make a link to it. So this is where your senior project presentation uh, should be linked. If we click on this one, it really leads to nothing. It just is helping the youth, a senior project by James Belt, with no other slides. So uh, this one won't help you very much, but it gives you the idea of how you can link your own in there. Um, and then reflections. Uh, most of these are just going to be text. Impact. Community. Selection reflection, and again, by now you should have a pretty good idea of how you can edit this. Um, okay, well, I think that kind of explains how to edit anything. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, I guess watch this video over again because I'm probably not going to want to explain it again. Bye, guys.